Oh, she spent uh, four, four packets of wood a day. Mm -hmm. she, she cooks now, she cooks uh, uh, rice, squaw fonte, uh, and uh, meat. I must have got squaw. Before I spent uh, 10 packets a day, mm -hmm. now. Now it's four packets a day. Four packets a day. It's, uh, it's uh, the advantage of the benefit of the... Excellent. So, uh, with 100 ariari per packet per of wood, packet of so wood. she's saving 600 ariari per day. Per day. And uh, there is uh, another, another thing I can show. not traditional, but uh, it is uh, used for the yo-yo. Okay. And uh, we sell this yo-yo for the customer because when we put acids or sand in the in, in it, mm -hmm. and uh, one packet a day, you can cook one packet of uh, wood. Mm -hmm. You can cook maize. Yeah. You can cook maize. If a mass so cook, uh, you can cook maize with this yo-yo uh, stove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For one packet. Mm -hmm. It was one packet of all these three, three sticks. Three sticks, eh? Yeah. And but uh, in the in the tripod, traditional tripod. Yeah. Two packets, two packets of wood uh, to, to cook maize. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So this is saving you for for each pot that you cook. This yeah. is saving you one packet of wood. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So the stoves had saved both Nahuda and Madame Ziza a lot of wood, but was the food up to standard? Madame Ziza invited me to test the results. Let's give it a taste test. <laughs> Very tasty. <laughs> 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 
Stoves saved the families that used them a lot of fuel and prevented the loss of a fair bit of woodland. The food cook was tasty. But in order for the stoves to have an appreciable effect, a large proportion of families would need to use them. I sailed north to the village of Bavatu with Justin and John to see how much interest there was in the stoves. He and I uh, will uh, go to another village uh, outside of Andabadok and we'll do a stove demonstration. So we'll show how the solar stoves are used and why they're so useful and what they can, what the benefits are for uh, the people in Volundriac. And uh, we will also take orders and deliver stoves and take payments as necessary. The trip to Bavatu, on the very northern edge of the Volondriac Conservation Area, has to be done by pirogue. Bavatu is an island, so it is quite an undertaking to get the bulky solar ovens there. The parabola is slim, flat-packed in its box, but will have to be assembled on arrival in time for the cooking demonstration the next day. Fortunately, assembly is an easy process and doesn't take very long. And there is no need to, to use uh, what is to use it. You know that the section says to use the hammer. Not to use the hammer, just the hand. Mm -hmm. Not to use the key for to fix the bolt. Yeah. The bolt the, so everything can hand. be put together just with your hands. Yeah. You don't need any tools. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Excellent. The routine in the morning is evidence of the reliance on wood fires in Bavatu. Beverages at the coffee shop, with perhaps a donut or two, cooking cassava for breakfast, boiling up shellfish, all on wood fires. Word has spread from the other villagers about the solar stoves, and when Justin and Jean start their demonstration, many people turn up, setting aside the usual ritual of heading straight out to sea to fish. The solar stove is first, up and running after a quick building effort by Jean the night before, and with its shiny finish, gone as an interest straight away. Jean is a good salesman though and is quick to point out the benefits of all the stoves. In fact, he seems to be multi-talented. Jean at the moment is preparing dishes that are completely traditional. They're staple dishes of this area. Um, so that the cooking he's doing um, could entirely replace uh, wood burning stoves during the day. So he's cooking fish, uh, fish and sauce, uh, maize, rice and beans, which is the staple diet here. Excellent. And uh, has there been much interest from the villagers? Uh, we've had a little bit of interest. Our biggest problem has been that the sun's gone in a few times, uh, which makes the demonstration of solar stoves a little tricky. Yeah, yeah, because it is quite a cloudy day, isn't it? It is now, yeah. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes. It does seem that we're getting quite a lot of heat in some of the, st the ovens. The got, ovens are up to 100 degrees C. Which is enough to, to boil, so that's good enough going. But uh, it's the parabolic stove that's uh, a bit of a trick, isn't it? The parabolic stove, of course, because it doesn't 